Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter dates, clear contents, and clear formats. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start off with entering dates in here, and we're going to focus on this cell right here in A16, and you will see that I have a date entered here of 6 slash 7, and the only thing that's displaying here is the month and the day. Now Excel is really cool because Excel is going to take the date, depending on what you type in, and you'll see here I use slashes, but you could also use hyphens, either way works. You could also even type out the date and put a slash or a hyphen in between them, or even just type something like June space 7 and that would also work for the date and one of the coolest parts about this is depending on what the date is Excel actually assigns the date a serial number and so that serial number that it's assigned to allows you to make calculations based off of the dates so so for instance here I could put in 6 slash 2 16 for the date right there and I can subtract this minus that and you'll see it's a total of five days, just like that. So it's kind of a cool uh, trick, and so it uses the serial numbers for that. At any time that if you wanted to see what the serial number was for the date, you could actually do that too by um, switching it to general format, and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So for right now, uh, we're taking a look at, at this date here in A16, and I'm gonna zoom in on my spreadsheet so you can get an easier look. All right, so, in here, you can see that the date that is displaying on your spreadsheet is different from the date in the formula bar. The reason for that is you could actually format these dates in a variety of different ways on your spreadsheet because obviously there's going to be different situations where you would want the date to display in different formats. So let me show you how to view those formats. So you can go to the Home tab right here and in the home tab you will see the number group okay within the number group you could go here to the uh, format number format option okay and hit the drop down arrow you'll see it's currently listed as a date and if you hit the drop down arrow, arrow you have uh, options like short date or long date but at the very bottom you have more number formats and if you click that here we go and you will see that this puts us into a date format. Now, it's currently as a date format. In uh, any other cell that has not been formatted before, it'll be in this general format, and that's where you can view the serial number, which is kind of cool. But um, you'll never actually use this serial number for anything. I'm just explaining it because that shows you how the calculations are made based off of dates. And so if I go back to date, it'll display the date again. And currently, I'm displaying it with the month and the uh, day. And so you can actually choose between any of these things as you click over them. And I'm gonna choose this one right here. Um, actually, I don't want that one because it has 0, 3. I'll go to the one above it. All right, so 3 slash 14 slash 12. That's just a, you know, a general date there. And it shows you how that format looks. All right, so after that, I'm gonna click on it and I'll click OK. And you'll see that the date gets updated with the month, date, and year, month, day, and year right there. Alright, so next up what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go here to this date and I will go ahead and click inside this cell and I want to show you a quick keyboard shortcut. Okay, and so here's a keyboard shortcut for dates. If you ever want to just update your date to today's date, okay, um, you could do that very easily and I'll show you how. You hold down control on the keyboard and then you press the semicolon. There we go. And when you do that, it's going to automatically put it as today's date, which happens to be May 4th, 2021. So that's what today's date is. And any time that I, again, hold down the control key and use the semicolon, you will uh, see that it automatically puts in that date and you can confirm it by pressing enter. So I think that's the second shortcut I've given this week that actually uses the semicolon. So you know if you're using the home row, that's the right pinky that you never really get to use except for the letter P. So there you go, now you have another use for it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna look at cell A19 now. And uh, in cell A19, uh, if I did control semicolon, you'll see that it enters in today's date as well. So pretty cool, huh? Uh, just like that. All right. Now you'll notice that these have different date formats by default. The default date format is this one right here, which I think is called short date in Excel. Yeah, right there, short date. And if I wanted this format to be applied to this cell, okay, so let's say that I went, uh, let's say I did this again, three, what was it, 16, 16 or whatever. Okay. Let's say that I wanted this format applied to this cell. 
one thing that you could do is you could actually use the format painter to do that. And so the format painter, and again to see the difference, look, this just says 16 as in 2016, and this just says 2021, so it has the full year. If I wanted this format applied down here, I could go right up here to the Home tab, Clipboard Group, Format Painter, click on the Format Painter, and then click on that cell and you'll see that it now has the same date. So the next thing that you might be wondering about dates is how does it know what year it's in? So I typed in 21 but how does it know that it's not 1921? Well Excel by default is actually going to apply uh, anything 2000, the year 2000 through 2029 I want to say uh, will be in uh, the 2000s, anything 1930 or later will be in the 1900s. Let's test it out. 5 slash 4 slash 30 and I can see it defaults yes to 1930. Whereas 5 slash 4 slash 29 defaults to 5 slash 4 slash 2029. So that's how Excel does it. I assume that when we get closer to uh, the 2030s that they will update it so that you know, the 30s are also included in the uh, 2000s rather than the 1900s. So that's a little bit about um, how the dates work. And I can switch back to the current date again by control semicolon and pressing enter. All right, so that's a little bit about dates. The next thing I wanted to go over was uh, clearing cell contents and formats. So this is something that can be really confusing for people when they first start working in Excel. And so I wanted to clear that up for you. So I'm gonna look at this section up here that says online sales. This is two separate cells. A1 says online, A2 says sales. All right, so I'm gonna click in cell A1 to get started. And I'm gonna look in the home tab. All right, and in the home tab, there's the editing group right over here, and then there's this eraser command that says clear. I'm gonna click on clear right here and click clear contents. And if I hover over that, it says clear contents, delete in parentheses, which is the keyboard shortcut, clear only the contents in the selected cells. The formatting and comments are not cleared. All right, so let's see what that does. I'm gonna click on clear contents and check it out. It removes the text from the, um, from the cells there, okay? But notice that green fill background is still there. All right, so it did not clear the formats. That is how you clear contents in Excel. Let me show you another way. We go to cell A2 now, it says sales. This time, I'm gonna use that keyboard shortcut, delete. This is different from the backspace key on your keyboard. So um, if you look at your backspace key, you'll see the delete key is usually to the bottom right of it. Even laptops have a delete key, so just kind of look around for it. Um, and so you'll see delete, you press that, that will delete the contents. A little bit faster than going up to the ribbon and going to the clear command. So, you know, there, there's another shortcut for you. All right, so now let's learn about clearing formats. So I'm gonna go back up to cell A1, and this time I'm gonna type in online sales, okay, on the formula bar, and I'll just press that, and I'll press enter, or this little check mark, okay? And by clicking the check mark up here, it'll actually stay as A1 on the active cell. And I want to show you now what clear formats does. Home tab. Notice the text is bold. Notice the background is green. Home tab, editing group, I click on clear, and I'm gonna go to clear formats, check it out. Boom, that removes that background, okay? And it also removed the bold, which is also a formatting change for the text, all right? So that's what clear formats does. I'm gonna use the same technique now to clear the formats from cells A2, or cell A2, clear formats. That'll remove that background, okay? All right, uh, I'm gonna click down here on cell a16 now. All right, and I want to show you what clear formats does when we apply it to a date. So I've already shown you how to apply this date format, and if I clear the format here, home tab, editing group, clear formats, check it out. It turns it into that serial number that I was referencing at the beginning and middle of this video. So that actually will turn it back to that uh, that uh, serial number. And so I could do a control Z right there, 
and that'll move it back into that date format that we originally had. So I hope this tutorial has helped explain dates in greater detail for you, and I hope you learned a few good keyboard shortcuts as well. Um, in addition to that, we also learned how to format and clear, or clear formats and clear contents from our cells, and I hope that was useful too. If this video was useful for you, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I have all kinds of videos on Microsoft Office, so make sure you check out my playlists. I put them in order of difficulty, so uh, you know it should be really nice and easy to learn from top to bottom. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.